And we are back in the room VR, a dark matter. So, let's get into it. But, uh, just did the cabin in the woods. A lot of fun. Pretty neat. Some alchemy involved. Great. Well done, Detective. That Hedgewitch has no idea of the powers she was toying with. It's fortunate she was only ca she was the only casualty of her ignorance. Now we have this final artifact. Our great work can begin. Summon me with this letter, and I'll free you from your task, the craftsman. Well, let's see how long it takes for me to uh, hit my desk this time. So let's see here. Straight ahead. Bam. Hey, dude. So did they hire, like, live actors to do this, or... Ooh. doorway is open. We can't leave him in possession of something so dangerous. I will create a path for you now. Follow it to the end and find a way to bring him back. He must answer for what he has done. Oh. It's a time thing. Okay. Where am I now? I must find him. Follow the orb, I assume. Oh, okay. There's like the gate we came in. An excavation camp. What on earth happened here? Look at the sandstorm, if I had to guess. I brought the pickaxe. No, it's just outside of my reach. My third week with the expedition and nobody has recognized me. Nobody suspects a lowly porta. The fools continue to search on the wrong side of the valley. They found something and for a moment I thought they beat me to the temple, but it was just a burial site. Let them fawn over the gold and trinkets, it would distract them from the real treasure. Alright. Can't pick up the rock. At last, after all this time, I finally found the temple. It has waited for me for millennia, buried safely under tons of sand. Tones of sand. Must be British or something. Uh, extraordinary, the powers emitting from the null far exceeds that of anything I've witnessed before. The tether is holding firmly, and I have begun to take in my apparatus. Okay. We're going to the Tomb of Horrors now, I take it. Okay, anything else here? I can go backward. I 
mess with that at all? Looks like no. And I'm mixing it up for the last one here. Not really so much of a room as it is a kind of a guided tour type thing. <laughs> the ancient Egyptian uh, metal chains that didn't corrode. Sure, wherever. Okay. a plinth for one of those triangly thingies. Car for the symbol. Okay. Already know where that goes. Another pedestal. Oh shoot, I forgot to clean off my lenses before this. Oh well. I can still see well enough. Alright. This one? No, oh, okay, here C. Riddle. Alright, well, they each have like only one spot where they can actually fit, so. Okay, so I don't know if it's both the same. Oh, dude. Cool. Aggravating the octopus that have living under there, but oh, Okay, so <laughs> that was obviously an actor, but he was also obviously wearing an old man mask. They didn't actually hire like an old man to play him. So <laughs> I just find that amusing. I'm sorry. Thank you for not grabbing me, tentacles. I appreciate it. Oh, 
awakening the ancient evils. <laughs> Neat. I can't believe I made it back. You have done well, Watcher. The old man's gamble failed, and his masters have collected their debt. Justice has been served, but we must remain cautious. There are many who would try to harness these forces. Now that your eyes have been opened, I hope you continue to see. Be vigilant, detective. Oh no! Uh... Oh, there we go. You know, we're going to crash them in the, the dark realm of the gnome. No, thanks for playing the room. We are a dark matter. We hope you enjoyed the game. Please consider giving a rating on the store to help spread to the word. Okay. I was expecting a bit more for the uh, finale, but uh, yeah, so that's the room. The last uh, challenge is pretty, I don't know what that number is, it, uh, I think that's just a build number, never mind. Yeah, the last challenge is a little underwhelming. I was kind of, uh, kind of expecting that they take all of the different uh, skills and whatnot that you accrued throughout the game with like, you know, the getting small scale and the like moving around the stars and whatever and all of that and kind of do like some really super awesome puzzle. I was kind of looking forward to that actually. So, you know, now that they give you all the tools, like make them, like make you use all of them. So that would have been cool, but uh, yeah, they just decided to kind of back off from all of that and just have like some more of a narrative type thing, which... I mean, you could do a narrative thing in, like, a, a real grand finale, but there's more of a glorified cutscene than a room. I mean, still, overall, I would say it was good, but it's just a... At the last minute, the ending was kind of garbage, but the rest of the levels are pretty good, so... I don't know, maybe call it a... It almost Mass Effect's the yeah, ending there, so... There we go. So, uh, yeah, overall, I like this. Really neat. Actually, you know, like, sitting here and being in the thing. I mean, obviously, I was, like, bumping stuff around my room a bit. But, you know, I think that's more my play situation more than anything. So, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, it was kind of neat seeing how they had to kind of change things around. Uh, you do need to, uh, use two controllers for this, which I guess isn't that big of a deal. We're still kind of, you know, still kind of figuring out the whole VR thing. I mean, it would be nice if you could do it, like, all just one, kind of like how you play the normal games, just, like, your mouse and keyboard and whatever. Which, you know, sure, whatever. Yeah, so, overall good, uh, like playing it in VR. The puzzles were neat. Uh, the VR interface they made for this was generally pretty good. I don't think I really found myself fighting with the game too much, except for a few times where I was, like, reaching for something and, like, hitting my table, or the things where I had to, like, rotate. Those I was having a little bit of a issue with, I guess, you know, trying to rotate with these and actually trying to make sure that everything is in my... in view of my receivers and everything, so... Yeah, that would be about the only real problem that I need to wipe off my, um, uh, or like my lenses, there we go, a little bit. But yeah, here I was, here I was getting myself ready to sit down and like go through some big, you know, finale, but it's just kind of like, 
Well, geez, I should have just added this on to the last play session. I mean, wow. Yeah, uh, it still, you know, uh, comes out, uh, positive, but it's just like, I was, uh, so I checked the achievements and it said, okay, there's the cabin and then there's, you know, two more achievements you get. It's, uh, you know, confront the professor and then there's like an escape. So I was expecting like two complete, you know, levels instead of, instead of that, instead of what we got. But whatever, I'll still generally give it a positive review here, so. Uh, yeah, enough rambling out of me. Uh, this is, this has been The Room VR, Dark Matter. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Later.